This lesson deals with supplemental problem 3.3. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 3 supplemental problems on page 3. Given the circuit containing only resistances and voltage sources, can you solve for the three mesh currents I1, I2, and I3? In the chapter 3 notes, we had an inspection algorithm if we pick our currents in a clockwise direction. So let's use that algorithm. With three meshes, we'll have a 3x3 three three matrix. Column 1 is associated with I1, column 2, I2, and column 3, I3. Left-hand side of the equation will form a vector which has three rows and one column, and we'll be putting our sources in there. For row 1, column 1, we're going to go around mesh 1 and add up all of the resistances. So here I've got a 2K plus a 4K. And then what's between meshes 1 and 2, we're going to sum and then subtract. So here's just going to be minus 4K. There's nothing directly between meshes 1 and 3, so we'll just have a 0 there. If you go around the mesh counterclockwise, the first sign that you see is a plus and then the value of 30. That's going to go in row 1, column 1. Okay, for mesh 2, we're going to go around mesh 2 and we're going to add up all the resistances and put that in row 2, column 2. So 4K plus 1K. Between meshes 2 and 1, I have a 4K resistor, so I'm going to add up all those resistors, just one in this case, and then negate it. And that's going to go in row 2, column 1. And then between meshes 2 and 3, I have a 1K resistor. So again, minus 1K, and that's going to go in row 2, column 3. Go around the mesh counterclockwise, and you see the first sign of plus, and then the quantity of 15, that's going to go here. Go around mesh number 3, add up all the resistances, and that's going to go in row 3, column 3. So 1K plus 3K. Between meshes 3 and 1, I have a 1K resistor, so a minus 1K. Nothing between 3 and 1. So I get a zero here. And of course, our matrix is symmetric. What's in row one, column two, is also in row two, column one. Row one, column three. Row three, column one. Row two, column three. Row three, column two. Let's fill in this last entry over here then. Go around the mesh counterclockwise. I see a plus 20, a plus three, and then a minus 15. So that's my technique by inspection. Now let's just add all those terms together. 30, 15, and 8, 6K minus 4K, 0, minus 4K, 5K minus 1K, 0 minus 1K, and 4K. We could use Kramer's rule to solve for the currents I1, I2, and I3, or if you have this feature in your calculator, we could just plug this in and see what the values are. I did that and found that it was 16.8 milliamps, 17.76 milliamps, and 6.44 milliamps. Or perhaps you want to try Kramer's rule and see if you get these same answers. This is supplemental problem 3.3. .3. 